So now what we need to practice is your adjustments on artificial infinity. And this isn't natural infinity like with the moonlight, this is artificial infinity using the rangefinder case. Inside we have two white lines, those are 80 centimeters apart exactly. What we need to do is set up the case at the end of the range and we will do so by getting the rangefinders in front. We'll then get a piece of white tape or hold a piece of paper in front while one of you other will lie down and just line up uh, this end of the case on the right hand so left hand side of the case on the right hand side on the right hand window or the right end of the um of the instrument so that we know they're parallel and then what you do is you take the uh take your instrument and you will take measurements using the, right up to the infinity and do the adjustments uh as we would do an adjustment on a known range uh you know, go measure to that and then go left you uh, down uh, use it, using the lines, those three lines that are up there around infinity uh, to take those adjustments and make those uh, calculations that you need to. Uh, so yeah, so this is the artificial infinity that you will, we will use. So that's the function of these two white lines. Understood? So I don't Good. So take this 300 yards down range and set up accordingly, okay? Yes, Sergeant. Sergeant. Good. So you need to remember the theory that we did in the classroom. And that is that you will have, you will be looking onto the case that you set out in front of you, each of your own cases, and the right hand line of the case will appear on the right. So you will have like an, an S shape. You will have the, the right, the, the lower window is upside down, remember? So you have the middle, uh, the middle line it should, is the two left hand side white lines of the inside of the lid so that was the theory uh, you can now go and you know, align your instruments on those uh, it's only at 300 yards uh, so once you've got that it should create a uh, let's say an s shape in the window okay all achieve that so now you can carry out your adjustments. So remember, take a series of 10 readings and then work out the accuracy figure. Once you've done that, you, you know, work out whether that's which R squared of the uh, true range that is. If it's five, square, five R squared or less, the instrument does not need adjustment. If it exceeds five R squared, you need to adjust the instrument, which you can do by using the, um, the, the the left hand window there that uh, adjustment lever uh, that adjustment scale sorry uh, to compensate for the error and then you take another uh, another you know, 10 readings keep doing that until you can be assured that your instrument is correctly adjusted okay all understood good 10 readings work out the accuracy tell me if it's 5r squared or less uh, or, or more, keep going until it is 5R squared or less. Understood, that's the rest of the lesson, carry on. All good, Private Riley? Yes, Sergeant. Good visibility today. All good, Private Fisher? Yes, Sergeant. Remember how to divide by 10? No, Sergeant. Good. All good, Private Brown? Yes, Sergeant. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.